Welcome to another edition of Sports Wire Island and Oasis, uh, free from coronavirus. And, you know, there's a lot more important things going on uh, in our nation and in the world right now um, that makes sports really kind of pale in comparison. But that doesn't mean that we shouldn't take the time out to, um, to honor our student athletes, especially when they excel, not only on the court or on the field, but off of it as well. And that's what we've got today, Kendrick. Thomas from J.R. Tucker High School uh, joining us today. First and foremost, Kendrick, how are you and how's your mom? How's the family? You guys feeling well? Um, yeah, so we're doing good. You know, quarantine is limited to us to very little things, but luckily my mom still gets to go to work and keep a roof over our heads, so there's nothing I can complain about. Well, and you, I absolutely do not have anything to complain about uh, as of really uh, just a couple days ago, yesterday, as a matter of fact, you find out that uh, you've been admitted to Norfolk State University. Tell me about how that played out. Um, so the other day, I woke up. I was just getting ready for my workout. Um, we go to Freeman and work out at the football field. So I wake up in the morning, I look at my phone, and I get an email. And I look, and I, I was reading, and I said, congratulations, you have been admitted to NSU. So the first thing I did was actually I broke down and cried and then I called my mom a couple times because like I had to overcome so many obstacles and had to go through a lot of adversity. So the fact that I just got admitted to a D1 school where I can um, excel my education was just a blessing. And you worked hard, but I mean, you were one of these, one of many student athletes who, play, who plays mil multiple sports over the years. You played football. <laughs> At Tucker, you played basketball, um, and you, you played for uh, Coach Adam Desgain, who's showing my age. I used to cover him when he was a player. Um, but tell me about um, tell me about some of your trials because there was there was a time during your high school career. Here you are, a senior about to graduate, where you know um, things weren't you weren't allowed on the field anymore. Yeah. So my after my freshman year when I played JV. Um, actually, no, it was my junior year. I had failed geometry my sophomore year in high school. So I was ineligible to play. So it was either go to summer school or not play basketball. So Coach Desgain, he paid for my he paid for my class and I went there, I got it done. So then I ended up on the court next year and I ended up starting as a junior, so greatly. And if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be playing sports right now. And also that year, I got into a trouble, got in trouble a lot. Um, then I went to the doctor. Um, I was actually suicidal, I had a, an emotional disability. So that really, it, my anxiety builds up and I get really upset sometimes. So I was diagnosed with that later on, but with the help of my mom, my counselor and Coach Desmond, they helped me control my emotions and push through adversity. And they helped me excel to greater and better things. Cause this year I averaged the three five. I had an A B average the whole entire school year. And now I'm gonna be attending NSU. That's amazing. Uh most adults uh, would not uh choose to fight and overcome what you've overcome. Uh and the fact that you're able to do that uh as a as a high school student as a young man speaks volumes to your character and probably speaks volumes to, to what you're going to be able to accomplish in the future. I think that's amazing what you've been able to do. It's also amazing what coach Desgain um, did and to, to help you out. Um, and that's what coaches are supposed to do. It's not just about X's and O's. It's about, you know, Jimmy's and Joe's and, and, and about the players and about their welfare. And it um, sounds like he did it the right way. Uh, here's a question. For, how much did sports, help you kind of guide you into, you know what, I've got something to fight for here and I'm going to, I'm going to get this done. Um, sports has always been my motivation. If it was for, um, for sports, I'd be in the streets, be being a knucklehead, hanging around knuckleheads. Sports pushed me to do better in life. And it actually, it also wanted um, me to make, to do better than my dad. Cause my dad, he was incarcerated my eighth grade year and my freshman year. And I've always wanted to do better than him and prove that I could be worth something in the world. So I just kept playing sports. It motivated me, it made me hungry, it made me work harder. 
And then when I knew I had something to fight for, that's when I started working harder in school. Because without school, there was no sports. You couldn't have you couldn't have sports without the school. You needed both. On a lighter note, though, man, I watched your huddle video uh, from football season. You got yourself an arm there at quarterback. I know they had you play wide receiver a little bit too, but uh, tell me how much uh, fun you had slinging that football on there. It was it was really fun because the last time I played quarterback, it was when I played pee wee football. So just getting out there, I like being the leader. So being able to control the offense, control the pace, and throw touchdowns, it, it feels great. On the basketball court, uh, you know, I, I know you guys didn't have exactly the season you wanted, but my gosh, every game that you played had to be on the road. So you literally got, you literally were the the road warriors. When did you feel like like your team was at its best? Um, we were at our best when we came together. Because usually, like, we'd be divided. But when we realized how much we had to overcome with playing um, away every single game, we, we noticed that we had to be stronger because everybody was going to be against us. Man, I, I, I can't say this enough. Uh, you know, congratulations. But uh, let me ask you this. What would your advice be to other student athletes or just students who, who have – their own struggles in school or out of school, and they think, I just can't make it, I can't do it. What would you say to them? Um, you definitely have to stay strong. Um, find somebody to talk to. That was my problem. I didn't like talking to nobody, I didn't like opening up. Um, actually, one of the only people I opened up to passed um, in January, so it was very rough for me. But with the help of people and friends and opening it up, you're, you're going to do better because – I have, I have a friend named Quincy. He pushes me every day to do better and be better. So once you do better, once you find the people that want to see you succeed, that's when you would sell. Yeah, it's always good to have have a couple of people that you can go to almost as a, a, a accountable friend to kind of keep you in line when things are tough and things are down. Kendrick, I wish you nothing but the best. Um, enjoyed watching you play in football and in basketball. Really excited for you uh, with stuff to come in Norfolk State. What, what are you planning on studying? Um, I'm studying to be an architect. Awesome. There's always plenty of room for that. We need buildings <laughs> built for sure. Kendrick, I appreciate it once again. Uh, and congratulations on uh, being accepted to Norfolk State. And we'll look forward to hearing great things from you in the future. Yes, sir. Thank you. No problems. You stay safe.